everyone, we're going to find the distance from point A to line C and round your answers to the nearest tenth. And the way you're going to do that, so we're talking about the whole line C. So if we're going to find the distance from uh, here or here, so what we're doing is we're finding the distance and we want to find the shortest distance, meaning the perpendicular line. So when we go through these, I'm going to do the odds, actually do it. Um, I'll leave you to do the evens. However, I'll get you started on the evens, and I'll also write the answer for the evens. So uh, let's get started. Um, so for number 19, um, the slope of this C line, so the slope of C equals rise over run, which is negative 1. So what we want the slope of A to be is perpendicular to that. So that's going to be 1. Remember, perpendicular slopes have negative reciprocals. So we want a slope that's negative 1. So I go from A, or positive 1. I'm going to go um, like this. So that's the point you want to use, that one right there. So we don't want to use that point. So, um, so let's write our points down. Our A is 1, 2, and our next point is going, I'll just call it B, and that's going to be negative 1, 0. And I'll start with, call this 1, this 2, so this will be x1, y1, this will be x2, y2. So use your distance formula. And we're going to start with our 2, so that's going to be, oh, let's write the formula down. x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared. Write this down, because I'm not going to write it down on all the, the problems. All right, so what we get is square root of negative 1 minus 1 squared plus uh, y sub 2 is 0 minus 2 squared. And that's going to give you the square root of negative 1 squared, negative 2 squared, sorry, plus negative 2 squared. So that's going to be the square root of 4 plus 4, which equals the square root of 8, which is, um, if you write it and uh, round it to the nearest tenth, that would be 2.8. All right. So that's how it goes. So let's look at this one. You can kind of guess what the perpendicular line is. So I'm going to get you started on this. The slope of this line is 1, the C line. So the slope of the C line is 1. So we want the slope of A to be negative 1 to be perpendicular. So that would mean uh, we're going down through this. So it's going to go through this point right here. So we don't want to pick that one. So that's a no-no. So when you we can pick that point, you're going to start out with your, write down your two points. Your point A is going to be negative 1, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And your B would be X is 2 and your Y is 2. So 2, comma, 2. And then you use your distance formula. And for this one, your answer should be 4.2. All right, I'm going to do 21. So the slope of this line is 2 over 1. So the slope of my C line is 2. That means I need my slope for my A line to be the negative reciprocal, which is going to be negative 1 half. So that means you go down 1 uh, over 2, down 1 over 2. So it's that point right there. So I write down my points. A is going to be 1, 2, is that, oh, it's hard, I made it too small, negative 2, comma, 2, and my B point, which is where the C is right here, that's going to be 2, comma, 0. 
and uh, we'll call this one two so this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 and you fill in your distance formula so we subtract the x's 2 minus a negative 2 squared plus 0 minus 2 squared and that gives you 4 squared plus negative 2 squared which gives you square root of 8 plus this is 4 12 that can be written as 4 times 3 which is 2, two square root of 3 and if you do decimal form that would be uh, 4.5 okay you all are going to do 22 but let's get you started um, the slope of the C line is 1 2 3 uh, let me just double check that 1 2 3 yeah the slope of the C line is 3 divided by 1 so the slope of my perpendicular line, which is A, is going to be negative one-third. So when you're drawing this, you're going to go down one over three. So it's going to be right there. So when you do your distance formula, you're going to write uh, A equals zero comma two, and your new point is going to be one, two, three uh, comma one. And then you do your distance formula on 22, you should get the answer um, 3.2. All right, now I'm going to do 23. So basically the slope of this line is, I'm going up to, um, 1, 2, 3, up to over 3. So the slope of my C line is so I went up to but to the left three so that's negative two-thirds so I want the slope of my A line or my perpendicular line we can put perpendicular it's going to be three halves that's a negative reciprocal so we have to figure out what point that goes through so I'm going up three rise over run one two three over two it's going to be right there now doing our points we have a equals well let's write it this way a the points going to be 1 comma negative 2 and my point B is going to be 1 2 3 comma 1 and I'll call this 1 and 2 so this is your x2 and y2 x1 y1 so you fill in your slope formula I mean your distance formula so you have 3 minus 1 squared plus 1 minus a negative 2 squared that gives you 2 squared plus 3 squared which equals um, square root of 13 and the square root of 13 is about 3.6 so that would be your final answer and you're going to do 24 let's find the slope of the C line and that's going to be let's see I don't see where it's connecting so we're going to go up one two three um, and to the left so your slope lines also up three and to the left uh, two so it's negative so we want our slope of the A line to be perpendicular so that's going to be two-thirds therefore from here we're going to go up two over three up two let's see up two one two three up two over three I'm not getting it so let me just double check this all right so we have this line, we're going 1, 2, 3, over 2. So that's 3 halves. And for our A point, we should have 2 thirds. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. Up to, up to, 
over 3. So that would be this point right here. I count it wrong. So it's going to be this point right here. So what you're going to write is a, which is negative 2, comma 0, and your new point b is going to be 1, comma 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. And when you put in the distance formula, you should get your answer is 5.3. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.